Hi folks, here we are again from the Mayor's Desk following our most recent monthly council meeting. But first up, I must congratulate and thank, on behalf of the community, the efforts put in for the Huala Show. It is the annual biggest event in Huala, another success, but it only happens because the community put it on. The community are so involved, volunteers that come on board to help set up, pack up, exhibit, the sponsors, our businesses in Wyala that get right behind it. As I said, it's a community event organised by the community for the community and we thank everybody that made sure. We had a fantastic weekend. The sun mostly shone, a little bit cloudy, but a great weekend. So we look forward to the next one in 12 months' time. Now, getting back to the council meeting. A couple of uh, decisions council made which I'm sure will interest everyone. The Christmas pageant. You will all remember that uh, last year it was changed to be part of Christmas carols uh, because it was the only way the event could be organised. Council did not have the resource to organise a pageant and an after pageant fair and then a fortnight later a Christmas carols. Surveyed the community. The community came back with different comments. Some liked the change, others didn't. There was no real one that they preferred go back to Ada Ryden Gardens or stay where it is. So we have taken all the comments on board, looked at how we can make sure there is a pageant and is a Christmas carols. We went out to the community seeing if there was an organisation that might like to replace the previous community group that primarily organised the pageant and after pageant fair. People were happy to help but not take it on. Short story is council will again organise the Christmas pageant we will involve a lot of those people that put their hand up to say, look, we'd love to help. Uh, it will again be on Nicholson Avenue. Council does not have the resources to organise two, as I've said, huge events within about a fortnight of each other. They've learned a lot, done a lot of the planning because there is so much that has to go on behind the scenes these days in any event, organising insurance, permits and the likes. So... There will be more information coming out. Always watch our Facebook page. Uh, I do believe the date's to be confirmed, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be December the 14th. We will have the pageant. We will have the Christmas carols. And what I'd say now to everybody that, that we know that's going to happen, start planning your float. We need as many as possible. We will talk about that a lot between now and the next couple of months. But that's what's going to happen this year. Pageant and carols back on the same day. Also, the council has made a decision. It's been uh, a very long debate and discussion about our Australia Day activities. We believe, and as a lot of people, a lot of opinions are, we're looking to the federal government to finally say when, when Australia Day should happen, if there's a change or the likes. We have taken everybody's views into account. We will continue with a community picnic celebrating Wyla and our future and how we've achieved and what we are going to achieve, that will always be on Australia Day. And it will probably still stay at uh, Ada Ryan Gardens. The Citizen Awards and the Community Awards, or should I say the Citizenship Ceremony and the Annual Awards, they will be held within the council building two or three days before Australia Day. We certainly know from those that receive their citizenship as part of that weekend, really appreciate the formality being within council, not being outdoors, competing with noise, uh, children running around, having fun, entertainment going on. So that will happen next year. So yes, uh, council, we will be celebrating on Australia Day with the, pic the community picnic and then the awards and the citizenship somewhere within the three days before Australia Day. More information about that. And one other that Council is still working on with uh, cricket and women's football is to try to work out how we can accommodate both sports on limited facilities with certain requirements. We've had two or three goes. There has been discussions with the two organisations. Many people involved were probably expecting a, an outcome at our meeting. That is still a way off. We've still got more work to be, be done there. But 
It is a work in progress, and I know there's a lot of interest out there, so that decision is still to come. And I guess just a couple of other things. It is great to see in the council agenda our development applications are picking up. We know there are, uh, well, the Housing Trust, it is very pleasing to see that they've also now got plans in for some of their big allotments that are vacant to actually start putting on several smaller homes on one site to help accommodate the people that are still looking for housing. So at least that's a partial way forward as well. A lot happening behind the scenes. And of course, this weekend, must mention, if you don't already realise it, it was in the council agenda. We've had it on Facebook. Big weekend of football, but not just football. It's a theme, Mental Health Matters Round. If you looked at our Facebook page, you will have seen some fantastic new Guernseys that have been designed by some of our school students that will be worn in the A-grade games this weekend, all about highlighting mental health and how it matters. And so on fr two days of footy, Friday at Bennett Oval from four o'clock, and you will have some AFL players, you'll have a meet and greet, there'll be family activities as well. You've got uh, South Wyler and West Wyler on Friday, and then the, on the Saturday, Waruna Bay versus Rapina and North versus Central. Going to be a big weekend of football, but for a very important cause, and any opportunity you've got to go and support that and become aware of how mental health matters, that's the opportunity. I will have gone well over time right now, so until next time from the Mayor's Desk, see you at the footy. Cheers.